Is it a must win for Georgia? I think it's a must win for Georgia. And I, when I look at this, I look at this in three ways, Molly. I look at it as a program. I look at it from this season. And I look at it from the eyes of JT Daniels as a quarterback. And that's who I'm going to start with. When you look at JT Daniels, he did a good job last year, the last four games for the uh, Georgia Bulldogs. But when he got to the game against Cincinnati and that defense that they had, he didn't have an outstanding game. So I think from, from a standpoint, looking at this from, from JT Daniels' eyes, if he wins this game, that's just going to give him more confidence moving along throughout the season. Now, when you look at the programs, right, you look at Clemson's program, you look at Georgia's program. Since the college football playoffs have started, Georgia has only made one trip. They made the national championship, and they should have won it, but they didn't. Alabama beat them, and that's the one time that they've been. When you look at Clemson, since the college football playoffs have started, Clemson have, have been there six of the seven years with four trips to the national championship and two national titles. Now, when you look at it from that standpoint, I think Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs need this win for their program because when you look at them in recruiting, on the scale of recruiting, Molly, they're up there with the four- and five-star mm -hmm. guys recruiting with Alabama and uh, Oklahoma and Clemson. So they're getting the guys. They just aren't getting the production done in the, in, in the college football playoffs or even making it because they only had one season. When you look at this season, and everybody talks about these guys' schedule, Clemson needs to win this game because – they don't have a ranked person on their schedule. Well, we need to take a look at Georgia's schedule because the only ranked team that they have on their schedule is Florida at number 13. And when I look at Clemson, there's two teams I think that's on the rise in the ACC. NC State. They went 8-4 last year. They played last night. Did a great job. Have a lot of people coming back offensively, a lot of people coming back defensively. I think they're going to be ranked at some point, and Boston College as well. Not to mention, they may play North Carolina in the ACC championship game who avoids Clemson this year and might be ranked in the top five when that, when that, when that happens. Yeah, my only issue with that is this. The question was simple. Uh, is it a must win for Georgia? I think it's a must win for Clemson because of the schedule that you just talked about. Clemson doesn't play anybody after this. Literally nobody. Zeros. No, nunca. We want to go Spanish on it. They don't play anybody, whereas Georgia. <laughs> I'm just saying, they don't. Look at the schedule, bro. Y'all y'all see. Yes, Nuka means never. I know y'all seen, 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 seen the schedule. I know y'all seen the schedule. Right? So, so, like, Clemson has to win. Clemson has to win. Now, if Georgia loses, <clears throat> let's say Georgia loses. Let's just say, number one, they play in the SEC. Okay, weak SEC, SEC opponents this year, whatever. But then they get a chance in the SEC championship against Alabama. And then you get a chance to go and maybe beat Alabama at the end of the season. Now, all of a sudden, you're back in the dance. But – if Clemson doesn't win this game, because all I talk about is a chance. You need a chance. If Clemson loses, and now they don't play anybody, and then maybe you play UNC in the, in the ACC championship, maybe they've got a better record, or maybe UNC loses to Virginia like they did last year, like Mac Brown's done in a couple years before, maybe it's not as high of a ranking. And so when you talk about must wins and who has to win this game, everybody knows it has to be Clemson. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Ocho on this one. It's a must win for Clemson because when you think about Georgia and covering the SEC for so long, we know the SEC, if, if, if Georgia goes to the SEC championship with one loss to Clemson and they beat uh, who we think is going to be Alabama from the other side, they go into the college football playoff. Now, that's a that's a lofty goal and, a, and a, a difficult task, but that's the reality of what we've seen transpire in the SEC for for the last seven years. When you start talking about it, Auburn was going into an SEC championship a few years ago with two losses. And if they would have beat Georgia in the SEC championship, they would have been in the college football playoff. The conference itself speaks for that game tells you who one of the four best teams are. It usually works out that way. And I don't see it changing this year in Clemson's case. Clemson may have some staying power because of the history you mentioned, Harry. But the bottom line is this, man. Like, when you look at the SEC, you got to look at it more than Georgia just winning the SEC championship. That, that means if Georgia goes to the SEC championship out of the East and they play Alabama and beat Alabama, that means Alabama would have beat a Texas A&M team that's ranked very highly. They would have beat a number 16 LSU team that's ranked very highly. So it's not just about... Who, who the opponent is that you beat, obviously that ranking is big, but it's also the opponent you beat, what other teams did they beat on their way to get into a championship in whatever conference you're in. That is the advantage that Georgia will have that Clemson won't have. So when you look at all of, this, all of these things combined and you think about the history of the college football playoff, while we still sit at four teams, 
Georgia can afford to lose this game, and it is clear as day. Because to that point, like, everybody wants to say Clemson don't play anybody. And that is true. That's been the case for a while in the ACC. But Clemson has been that good, and they've shown enough to get into that game. It's a different situation when you start off with two top five, top ten teams, game one, because the implications are unbelievable, and who you play will be factored in more this year between Clemson and Georgia probably than any other year we've seen in the college football playoff. So I want to throw a scenario out for, for both of you guys, right? Say Georgia wins this football game, then they go down the line, mm -hmm. and they lose to Alabama in the, in the SEC championship, and they have that one loss. Right, but they got that head-to-head -head win. They still going over. to the playoff. Absolutely. My point exactly. So that's why I think it's still a better, going. it's a, it's a more must-win for Georgia because it gives them that wiggle room to actually lose in the SEC championship game versus uh, losing to Clemson and then you lose in the SEC championship game. Now you have two losses versus having one loss when you yeah. lose to Alabama. But 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 let's let's so I thought put that we, on. I, I mean, I was under the assumption that we was operating on one loss with, with right. one of these teams. Right. I didn't. Let, I, I wasn't thinking they was go. Like if they lose two, they probably out of it. Oh, to yeah. be honest with you, either one two, of these done. teams. Yeah. And let's flip that on its head for a little bit. Let's say that Clemson goes and loses this game, and then what? Right? Are we expecting Miami to be good in the ACC? Are we expecting Miami to go and beat Alabama in Week One? Are we expecting North Carolina to be their top ten team now? Are we expecting that to continue the entire season with Sam Howell? Like so, if Clemson loses this game in week one, and then you look at that schedule, then you look at the weakness of the ACC, at least as it stands, compared to the SEC. You're not looking at a one-loss Clemson team over a one-loss Georgia team and taking Clemson over Georgia. It just, does, it just doesn't make sense. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like it's a more must-win for Georgia. Because if they have that one loss against the Alabama in the SEC championship game, then they have more, and then they have the head-to-head -head win over Clemson, then they have more of a case. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.